Welcome to Taiwan Education and Culture. Uh, today we were going to the uh, chapter 6 and today's lesson is about section 4, uh, Trends of Education Reform. Well, before we have mentioned education reform, that was the uh, dis to describe the um, uh, content of the edu educational reform. Uh, right now, we will talk about the uh, factors that influence of educational reform. Uh, between the uh, late late uh, 1980s and the 2000, uh, education development in Taiwan was uh, um, integrated uh, responses to its economic needs and the social political transformation. So you should realize that the education reform is not coming uh, in one day or suddenly uh, come up to us. It is uh, affected by the economic development and also the social development and also political uh, changes. In responding the uh, social movement, toward a democratic society in 1980s. Several changes were made in curricula and educational practices. And the struggle for democratization, globalization, and localization, uh, the pursuit of uh, Taiwan identity are uh, reflected in the trend of education reform. So we will address the uh, content of these uh, factors. And uh, during the time in 1980s, um, the people tried to develop the uh, collective the voices and uh, uh, argue uh, people to should have a more um, participation and uh, more power in the um, politics. Yeah. So that's very important time to, for the base of the uh, democratic society. So the first uh, aspect uh, we will mention about the political aspect. Political agenda uh, textbook uh, should move out authoritarianism and the cult of great people. School practices should reflect uh, democratic value. Just give you one example of the uh, uh, authoritarianism and the cult of great people. Um, in the textbook of the elementary school, there's a lesson uh, we will mention there were the topic the, of the uh, Dr. Sun Yishan when he was young, how he was uh, brave and uh, smart and righteous. And uh, uh, also there's a lesson for the um, president, uh, Jiang Gai Shet, how he um, became a great person. Okay, that is the cult of the great person. and. Also, the practice, uh, I should mention, the, um, there are some regulations to uh, like argue, uh, to ask our students to follow, like uh, um, the haircut, the uh, reform, uh, the uniform, and the color of the uh, socks. Yeah, and uh, there are so many. Uh, regulation and uh, uh, law. So this is against the, the democratic uh, value, I, I would think. Yeah. Then the uh, second one is about the learning of history uh, move from the China center to Taiwan centers. I think in this uh, course, we have uh, 
talk about the Taiwan history uh, for several chapters in long time ago, long time ago, uh, like 20 years ago. These are not taught in the textbook. Okay, so I think that's the one changes that we should learn the Taiwan centered history. And the third one is the learning of languages. We are uh, expect to include local dialect and uh, Aboriginal languages, uh, and also ex including the uh, mother tongue. So that's the um, great changes because uh, some in some time the local dialect and uh, Aboriginal languages are uh, banned. You should not say it. You should not learn it in school. Only Chinese uh, is uh, also text, <laughs> but now we have expanded this kind of the uh, language learning. So the second aspect is about the global inferences. Um, for challenge brought by the globalization, school curriculum need to develop students' translational skills. Uh, the learning of informational technology, uh, I think this is more getting more important and important. The issue of environment um, protection, pollution and uh, ecological preservation. This is quite a big issue we brought by the uh, globalization because there's so many uh, farming lands turn into the factory and there's a various kind of the pollution. Uh, happen in our environment. And the, the, the other one is about the competency of uh, learning foreign uh, languages. Okay, we have uh, tried to get in the effectiveness of the foreign language uh, learning. Then the third one is the localization, the pursuit of uh, uh, Taiwan identity. Uh, nowadays, should students uh, learn the history of Taiwan and embrace the uh, democratic values? The collective political identity among Taiwanese people start to develop in plural ways. Uh, I think the change uh, in different uh, direction. Okay, so in before um, the education reform. Uh, what is the um, collective identity in Taiwan? Uh, the, the long time, uh, the ruling party, the Kuomintang, here we, you can see the KMT means uh, Kuomintang. This is the ruling party. They um, politicalized uh, education uh, in Taiwan. They make it more uh, China-centered. I would say very China-centered. And the goal was to maintain a strong historical ties to the Chinese uh, mainland uh, as a tradition for recovering China from the Communist Party. Okay. So if you know the fact, the Communist Party uh, has uh, ruled uh, mainland China since uh, 1949. I think the KMT they moved to Taiwan at the same year, so they try to recover <laughs> the uh, China, and that's that's the background. Uh, therefore, the uh, only one uh, Mandarin Chinese uh, was, and still, uh, Taiwan's the only official language. Uh, so that's the background that uh, why the collective uh, identity was developed uh, before the education reform. How about the time in the our day? Uh, how did the people uh, in Taiwan, the younger generation, how did they uh, develop, develop their collective identity? And I should say, the collective identity uh, in Taiwan, in education, uh, they are now Taiwan-centered. Um, and after we realized that Taiwan has 
the um, different history from that in China. Uh, people have uh, developed a new collective identity. So that will reflect uh, in the two uh, generations. Like the older generation, they develop this kind of the um, identity according to that time of the education. And uh, the younger generation, they will develop the nowadays the new one. Okay, in this figure, I summarized the three factors uh, that influence our educational reform. Uh, you can see this is a, a globalization. We have a very strong influence by the uh, globalization. So we need to add the um, ICT as a like learning technique, uh, science as a technique, and also English proficiency. Yeah to better our uh, foreigner language. And uh, we also need to be uh, affected by the uh, democratization. So we have a focus on the civil education. And the third factor is about the localization. And we uh, add the, the subject of the Taiwan history. And also we expand the the uh, language learning to include the uh, indigenous uh, and the uh, uh, native uh, the dialect and also the uh, mother tongue. Okay, so that will bring you another very interesting uh, research survey. Here, this is the survey um, of the identity for Taiwanese people. Uh, they have uh, collected the data since uh, 1992 until 2019. Yeah. Every year they have done this survey. And uh, um, you can see the green line is uh, uprising, is uh, going increase. And uh, the purple line uh, it remain uh, quite a long time, then now it's uh, decreasing. And the, the blue line, you can see here, the blue line, they just drop into like almost insignificant about 10 or 11 years ago. Yeah. So it's quite low here. Yeah. And then the black one is uh, no responses. Okay. So when we have to ask uh, people, of Taiwan, that means uh, the whole population is not just students, with the whole population. Uh, do you think you are uh, Chinese and also Taiwanese? The green one is uh, Taiwanese and uh, the blue one is Chinese. Okay, so Beginning in 1992, you can see um, the majority here is 46.4. Uh, uh, majority of people, they identify themselves Chinese and also Taiwanese. Okay. Then the second one is 25%. Uh, uh, they identify themselves Chinese and Taiwanese is the third one, yeah, uh, quite low. Compared to the survey in 2019, um, okay, the same survey question, this is survey was conducted in 2019. Then the results reveal majority, okay, more than half. It's 56.9%. They said they are Taiwanese. Wow, this is the uprising compared to 1992, right? Because uh, that was the third one, the third rank, the rank the third. And then the second one, they dropped, yeah, about 10% because 46% now is 36%. They call themselves Chinese and also Taiwanese. And you see, you see Taiwan, um, the third one is uh, Chinese. They just dropped 
into 3% only. I think this is the uh, in interesting uh, result to reveal that the majority of the Taiwanese has uh, changed uh, in terms of the collective identity. Uh, more and more people identify themselves uh, only Taiwanese. Uh, okay, so that will um, give us some in interesting uh, reflection how the uh, education reform can uh, influence the uh, collective the identity uh, among people. Yeah. Although the uh, pace of the change is uh, quite slow, right? But still, it works. Yeah, it will work uh, in some way. Okay, that's the um, end of the session. I but we'll give you uh, two questions um, to let us uh, to think more. Uh, first, first one is what are the important factors uh, that affect uh, the trend in education reform? Okay. Remember the figure of the three factors. The first one, globalization. And the second one, uh, democratization, and the third one, uh, localization. These are very important uh, factors uh, already drove the trend of education reform in Taiwan. Then the second question is, uh, are there clear changes in the nation, uh, quote, identity? I mean the collective identity for Taiwanese for the past two decades. And what are the changes? Okay, think about that. About the survey data, um, long time ago, that like 20 years ago, the rank uh, first is the, they identify themselves Chinese and also Taiwanese. And the second one is Chinese. But 28 years later, right now, majority, more than half, majority uh, of Taiwanese, we identify ourselves uh, only Taiwanese. Wow, this is uh, totally changed. And the second one uh, is uh, Chinese and also Taiwanese. Okay, this is the, the second one. But those who identify themselves are Chinese, just dropped. Okay, so that's the big changes uh, in the collective identity, right? Hope that uh, this uh, section uh, will help you to understand how and what happened uh, in the educational trend uh, reform trend in Taiwan. Okay, this is the end of the lesson. Thank you for your listening. Thank you.